Welcome in guys, Adam here with the Orlando Drummer. It's good to see you and thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Timekeepers, a show about dope watches. Of all the watches I was considering doing for this episode, I may have gone with the hardest choice here. Today's watch is not only packed with features and looks killer, but it also comes with a pretty unique math game that's built inside of the watch itself. And if there's anyone in the world who takes on math challenges for no reason, it's probably drummers. Stick around guys, today we're taking a look at 7 Fridays V201. This is Rhino, he will not leave me alone, so he might be popping in and out of today's video. He's pretty cute though, what's up brother? So I first got the V201 a few months back and I've really been loving this thing. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this watch is that it's far from what I would consider a simple design. There's a lot to unpack in the build of this watch, but it also doesn't feel over-engineered, just how a song can be produced, but it doesn't have to be overproduced. This watch is kind of in that sweet spot. And as much as we have going on in the watch's layers and textures, it still has a nice flow to it. Now, like many Seven Fridays, this watch comes in pretty large, just a hair under 50 millimeters wide and over 44 millimeters tall. And personally, I like all of my watches over that 45 millimeter mark, but if you aren't familiar with watch sizes, trust me, this one is pretty bulky. It's certainly one of the heavier Seven Fridays that I own, but again, I'm just a fan of that larger weighted feel in my watches, so I really enjoy the heaviness of the V201. And just like with cameras, lenses, microphones, heavy is usually a good thing. So the design of this watch is inspired by barometers on industrial machines. And without a doubt, this watch feels very industrial. Not to get this watch mixed up with Seven Friday's Choo Choo model, which is also one of my favorites, but I definitely get some 1950s steam engine vibes from the V201. Kind of feels like you're supposed to be doing some hard manual labor back in the 50s when you wear this thing. Now the V201 has four layers of alternating discs, which adds to that depth and the complexity of the build. The longer you look at this watch, the more you start to see. We have four colors in implemented in the design, black, copper, white, and gray. There's also some cool textures to pay attention to. The black bottom disc has a rougher eggshell texture, and much of the gray metal has more of a vintage brush texture, and all of these contrast against some of those more slick copper elements. Also adding to that vintage feel is the curved crystal or the glass of the watch, which I really like. It just takes away from the rigid feeling of the watch and smooths it out a little bit. All right, so the big question is, how the hell do we read this thing? Because Seven Friday didn't really make it easy on us. So they've actually implemented very intentionally a math game into this watch. To tell the time, we want to start with a small black dial in the center, which shows the numbers 0, 4, and 8. You'll notice that each of these numbers has a plus sign next to them. As this center black dial rotates, one of those numbers will be inside the fan-shaped portion of the watch, or the scale, on the top right of the face of the watch. So the game is to take one of the center black numbers with the plus sign next to it and add that number to the nearest number on the scale. So right now, our center center dial has the four plus inside the scale and it's nearest to that large two. So we add these numbers together, four plus two, and that gives us six o'clock. Now, sometimes there can be two numbers inside of the black dial that are both within the scale, but the game remains exactly the same. If it was eight o'clock, we can see that displayed by either looking at the eight plus and adding the nearby zero, which would give us eight, or we could take the four plus and add that to the nearby four. Either way, that gives us eight o'clock. And this is how we solve for hours. But the minute hand is actually much simpler. That large solo hand of the watch is just a standard minute hand. And for me, this works out great because I'm usually pretty aware of the hour and I use the minute hand to measure more practical things, like I need to leave for the store in 10 minutes. Now for the seconds dial, we have a similar but separate math game in the watch. The smallest dial of the watch can be found facing the five o'clock position. And this dial has three numbers on it, 0, 20, and 40. Now these numbers also include that little plus sign next to them, meaning they're also going to be added to the nearby numbers of that small grayscale as they pass. And of course, you may not need to use the addition game to count the seconds, but it's nice to have the seconds measured on the watch, and the fact that they figured out how to implement this addition game twice into the same watch makes it that much more impressive. Seriously, I have no idea how you'd even begin to mechanically engineer something this complicated. That's probably why I play drums. Now 
in the 10 o'clock position of the V201, we have our day, night, or AM, PM indicator. And immediately underneath this, you'll see 7 Friday's logo with your specific serial number. The V201 also comes with an NFC chip, which allows your watch to communicate with your phone. So there's a lot of functionality there. You can also use this chip to verify the authenticity and make sure that you have a genuine 7 Friday. The chip is seated in the rear of the watch, just underneath the globe. The strap on this watch is a semi-matte brown leather with a super luxury feel, and it's equipped with 7 Friday's FSC system or fast strap changer, super easy to use. The engine powering this watch is an automatic Miyota with a 40 hour power reserve. So for me, this watch is slightly on the casual side, even though it has this labor intensive, industrious kind of vibe. I don't think I necessarily pair this watch with something as dressy as a suit necessarily, but I do enjoy having watches in my collection that I don't have to overthink. For me, this is like a jeans and t-shirt kind of watch, something I'd wear to a concert, an outdoor event, or maybe like a casual dinner. But between the mechanical slash industrial vibes, the masculine colors, and all these contrasty textures, something about this watch feels very old school tough to me. During construction of this studio, I didn't wear watches for obvious reasons, but if I did, the V201 would probably be my first choice. This thing seems like it would feel right at home next to some power tools. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this one, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Timekeepers featuring 7 Fridays V201. Adam here, the Orlando drummer, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.